The photographic flash is a very useful accessory, but because it's such a small source of light, it tends to cast very harsh shadows. Essentially, the smaller the light source, the harsher the shadows, the larger the light source, the softer the shadows. One of the ways that people soften the shadows from a photographic flash is by using a softbox. This is the original LumaQuest softbox. We've been manufacturing it for about 15 years. It attached, folds up like this and goes in your bag and attaches to the flash with either self-adhesive Velcro or the optional cinch strap. The cinch strap is essentially a piece of rubber-backed Velcro that you can wrap around the top of the flash like this and install either the softbox or any other LumaQuest accessory without using the self-adhesive Velcro. To attach the uh, softbox to the flash, essentially flop it open like this and attach the panels to the side of the head of the flash. Once you got it installed like this, put the flash in the direct flash position. You'll notice that this diffusion surface is roughly six or eight times the size of the flash head itself, and that's what softens the light. You'll also notice that it's center weighted for more even illumination. We can't amplify the light around the perimeter, so we hold back some light in the center to help illuminate a soft, uh, hot spot. You'll also notice that it's notched out. It's notched out so that it doesn't interfere with either the autofocus assist or exposure control on the flash itself. Uh, we also make several other models. We have the Softbox 3 that's roughly twice the size of the so original Softbox, and so it's going to produce softer shadows. It's also center-weighted, but you'll notice it is not notched out, so it would interfere likely with the um, autofocus assist. We also make a mini Softbox. The mini Softbox is so small that it, it doesn't interfere with those automatic features. Won't be quite as soft as the Softbox itself, but still, the mini Softbox is roughly two or three times the size of the flesh, so that's what softens the shadows. People often ask me, say, well, which one's the best, which one should I use? Well, obviously, there's slightly different application. Essentially, if you're going to be using the Softbox 3, you can use it off camera, on camera. You know, for a lot of different situations, it's going to be the softest. The, the mini Softbox is going to be the most convenient, but it isn't going to be nearly as soft as the larger ones, and the original Softbox, something in between. But essentially, the key is to select the right tool for the job.